Are you new to the S Plus mod and Arc Survival Involved and need to know how it works? Stay tuned to find out. What is up guys and girls and all? And in between here today playing some Arc Survival Involved on the BC Gaming modded Lost Island server. Um, we're on a certain series today on S Plus. Today is going to be basing it, the series is going to teach all the aspects of S Plus because this has been updated a lot in the last few years and really not much content on uh, how it work, how the new things work or how it works in general because it's changed so much has been really updated. There hasn't been that many videos posted and a lot of people are uh, people are who may be new to ARC modding who finally over the years of playing on Xbox and uh, PlayStation got the money and leveled up the PC Master Race. So they're here and want to play with mods and when you're here, wanting to play with mods and don't understand there's so much involved, people who've been playing from the beginning got little bits at a time and were able to learn it as they went along. Here, it's like, whoa, in your face, and there's a lot going on, so this series will be breaking it down in multiple different parts. Today's is going to be about the pooling system. How does that work? Where you can pull from? What are the benefits of it? And uh, why it's freaking amazing, and it should be in the actual game. And by the way, guys, if you like this video, make sure you squish that like button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and slap the notification bell for future videos coming out just like this one. All right, now let's get started. Uh, polling S plus. Um, by the way, S plus is for Steam only. This is for Steam only. For Epic Games, uh, uninstall Epic Games and get this on Steam. Yeah, I'm just yeah, and then come back to the video. All right. Anyways, I'm um. Let's get started here. This is the S Plus Crafting Station. You're going to need this for... Well, you don't have to have it. It makes things a lot easier. You can craft everything within the S Plus mod in this crafting station. Which is a lot better than having to wait to unlock that big-ass thing. So, which is also S Plus, which is great. Which... It's... it's, it's you don't want to, um, uh, not... With S Plus, try to make everything. Now, I have multiple mods on the server. But everything you make for the basic art part, make use all S plus. Do not use anything vanilla if you can help it. Um, vanilla needs. I mean, you know, you still have your all your tools and armor. I'm, I'm going out tracking you guys. For all your structures, if you're building with um, basic uh, arc stuff and not using, say, for example, CKF like right here, uh, Castle Keeps the Force mod. Um, um, for all of your crafting things that you would need to make for the regular game, use S+. Plus. It's going to save you a lot of trouble in the long run. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Uh, for the basic pulling system, you can go into your inventory. You can see there's section. There's a section up here. There's this right here, this button here. You have a number and you have a cloud. You download. Now, you, to pull anything from any station in the area, which most stations, it does not work sometimes for some of the other mods, like CKF and Advanced Rafts. Sometimes it works from different inventories, whether it's yours, your birds, or the S Plus station, or another crafting station. So it can be a little finicky with that. You might have to walk over, oh, do I have spinning pace? You know, spinning pace, and you do sometimes. It happens. That's going to be a little finicky, but it's still better than not having it. If, if you're running just S Plus as a mod on your game, then you're not going to have these issues at all. It's going to work great for you. It's just when it starts with other mods, it gets a little finicky. It's, you know, it's, it's still easier. I promise. But anyways, um, um, you've got this section here. Say, for example, I want to craft to say the S Plus crafting station. Oh, I don't have the things in my inventory. How do I... Instead of going to all my stations and all my storages and trying to find these things... Now I want to make one of these, so I'm going to put this, hit this button right here, pull all resources to make that. Now, it's all there. I can make one now. Now if I want to make 10 of these, I'm going to put one zero. I'm going to hit pull. Now it's going to pull enough to make, um, I think, um, uh, yeah, I can make craft 10 because I already had enough to make one, so I wanted to make 10 max. You're not pulling to make 10 more, you're pulling to pull 10, make 10 max. So remember that when you're like, okay. Um, I need 15 of these things. Oh wait, no, I need 20. You want to make sure you hit 20 max, and not you don't want to hit five again because it says you already have the five you needed. So you need to um, uh, pull the extra. So pull the max amount you want to make. Um, uh, and then you can just hit craft all from there. You go know, from there. Um, um, also, if you want to pull a specific um, uh, resource, say for example, we want to pull some metal, um, a metal ingot specifically. Now let's see, advanced rafts can be a little finicky here. Um, um, 
No, I try. I don't have the advanced rafts um, uh, forge going. I have the CKF forge, which is working just fine uh, from my inventory. May not work great from the other S plus uh, crafting stations inventory, but works great for yours. Uh, so, um, uh, forge, I can pull, say, 100 from that. That's how much I want. I can hit pull, and it will pull the 100 to me. Or, we can say, let's go to uh, oil. My um, item collector has got some oil from my, um, um, uh, from my, um, uh, from my dung beetles, which we'll go over that in a different video. Um, I'm going to hit, I, I want all of it, instead of, ha instead of having to type in 105, I can hit this check mark right here to pull all. I can actually pull from multiple, um, uh, uh, resource, resource bins and how much I want. Say, for example, I have a lot of resources spread out, but I need to leave some things, say, for example, oil in the preserving bin. Say, for example, I need to make something, I know it's going to cost uh, 120 oil. And I have 105 in the item collector, and I have 149. So I'm going to pull 15, pull off from there, and 15 from from the preserving bin. Sorry, guys, preserving bin. Now I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit pull. Now it's going to pull all the oil that I needed. And um, uh, inventory right there. 120 oil done. Easy, right? Great, amazing. Saves so much time from building. Mods are great for. I'm I'm going off topic here again. I promise the next videos will be to the point. This is getting us started. Um, you're great for if you have jobs, you know, and you can't spend, you know, 90% of your time playing ARC. These kind of things, ease of life mods that change everything and make more fun. Uh, now, we're going to S Plus Crafting Station. Now, for example, let's make, say, um, a storage. You know what, let's, let's, let's make a... A um, um metal storage right there. I'm missing the hide, so I'm I want to make one. So I'm gonna hit this pull again. Except, see, you can also when you're in inventory, you can pull from pull into your inventory, or you can pull into your you know the crafting station, whatever inventory you're in, at the same time, which is great. Uh, so you can pull from both either way. So I want to pull one of these. I'm gonna pull that button again. Now I have enough to make it. See how it goes, and for right here, let's test out that CKF thing again, and see if that uh, metal is going to show up on here. It does. Okay, we're good then. Um, I know for a fact there is some wood and uh, stone in the, in the CKF things, okay, and this is actually working. Advanced Grindstone is actually showing that is an advanced raft mod right there, and it's showing the other mods just fine. Usually it kind of doesn't do this. Let's go to the other Grindstone. Let's try that. Let's try pulling, what do I, I know I have in here? I have, um, uh, some cementing paint. No, I do. Pull charcoal. I know I have 19 charcoal in there. So I'm going to, uh, sometimes what you need to do, when you, if you can go straight into it, sometimes it won't, this won't click up. If it doesn't, uh, go right away when you click it, nothing happens. Click on one random item and then click your cloud button. Sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes you don't. Um, uh, but yeah, charcoal. Can we pull from the uh, SBS bin? Yes, we can. So sometimes um, um, it doesn't want to show up, but we can uh, let's try pulling the charcoal into this one. And it's working now. See, sometimes it will work and sometimes it won't. That's one issue. Um, most of the time it works okay. It's kind of random when it doesn't. Um, then the next thing, like for example, you can still, in these other mods, you can still craft what you need to make in here. Say, for example, we want to make up a uh, structures. Let's just grab one. Um, let's grab ceiling. Uh, no. I'm in the wrong place here. Yeah, structures. Gates. Say, for example, I want to make a uh, large gate right here. I'm going to pull one. And I can pull it just like any other thing. I can make more. It's, uh, it's pretty great. I mean, it works most of the time for all the mods. Uh, let's try pulling charcoal in here, see what happens. Uh, S plus smithy is right there. So, this is the eco mod. Um, so, everything's working fine. We'll go over the uh, different crafting stations. Um, uh, you know, crafting with S plus when 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 we a different video. We do a gardening with S plus, um, building with S plus, and um, um, probably um, raising dinos with S plus. This right here will change everything. It makes it so much better for you, for those of us who have, you know, basic nine to five jobs. 
plus family and stuff to take care of, this will make your day a lot easier. Along with these smaller air conditioners and the S plus. We'll go over the automation. We'll probably do a video on yeah, we'll we'll separate uh, the automation stuff. We'll do the S all the uh, baby growing stuff with what automation you need for that. Uh we'll do the uh, do one on um um the gardening on the and all the automation for that, which is freaking amazing. Which is great when you're not logged in, you don't have to worry about anything. These guys are awesome little things that do I'll explain those in another video. But like for example, like I said, um S Plus has everything, uh, a copy, just about everything in the game, except for your gear, uh, which then that's where you bring in other mods for that kind of thing, like the reusable mod, that kind of stuff like that. Oh, one more thing, guys. There is a, a range for the uh, S Plus you can pull in. Um, real quick, um, uh, there's not a real way for me to test this out. I think there might be, I'm not sure. But the best way to test this out is to go to most of the uh, item uh, places that have that have a pull range for something else. You see the same for all S plus. We move this out the way, uh, and to see that to get you an idea how far it's pretty far. It doesn't pull from every um, uh, crafting station or inventory within your tribe. Well, uh, it'll pull everything in your crafting station tribe within a certain area. Very not small, but big enough to cover your main base. Your your base. If you're, most people's bases aren't, aren't that big, at least not their crafting sections. So we're going to um uh, where's the net um show range. This is for the the, the uh, egg hatchery. Just get an idea of what we're talking here. Um, just put down this draw bridge here. You see the uh, outline here. This is about the same distance for S plus. I mean, there's a way we can test this out real quick. Let's see if I can pull within this Bronto. From the, um, what's over there? Uh, the forge. No, that's the cooking state. Yeah, let's see what we can pull from over there. Let's just say we want, let's just say we want to pull, um, smithing base. S plus crafting station, advanced grind stone. Yeah, we can pull from over there. Uh, can we pull from the, the garden? Let me check that. Um, say, uh, sentinel. Yes, we can pull from the gardener. So, we're good to go there and then. Okay, so yeah, pretty much this area, th how wide this is, and how much you can pull from other inventories that you're in your tribe or own to you within this area. It does not cover the entire map, it only covers this area and things that you have actually access to. So, for example, if you're playing a PvP, you can't in a PvP server and you have S plus on that server, you can't just pull up um, to an extra zone base and start pulling their stuff. It has to be within your inventory. Or your tribe's inventory. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, uh, I hope this helped y'all out with your beginnings of learning S+. If it did, make sure you squish that like button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if there's any other mods that you would like to see tutorials on that have been updated, but not have no one's done any tutorials on that. Explain them, like the CKF mod, or the eco-friendly mod, or that new lethal um, uh, reusable where? mod. It has been. Uh, there was a lot of other reusable um, uh, weapon mods. Uh, in the past, but they have long been not updated and they are known to crash servers. The new lethals mod does not do that. Works great on the server and might be doing a little thing on that in the future as well. But guys, let me know, like I said, let me know if there's any mods you'd like to see showcased or tutorial or explained. And, uh, guys, y'all, oh, by the way, guys, we have a Discord. If you want to join our server on the MeC Gaming Community server, uh, let me know. It is a vanilla, I mean, not vanilla, <laughs> Definitely not vanilla. A PVE server. So just let me know. Join the Discord below. Check out the comments in there. And uh, y'all, y'all have an awesome day.